All right, I'm about to take apart the Lego TBM for the first time in five years. I'm a little bit nervous. It's been like this for a very long time and I really hope I can put it back together. I've made a first version of the instructions, which I will be using in reverse, step-by-step, step, starting with step number 943. And while I go through the process, I'll probably get into studio and edit the digital design or even the steps just to make sure I've captured all the little tweaks I want to make before publishing. Well, wish me luck. I hope we will see the TBM again soon. So one thing I'm going to do while I take it apart, I'm going to take photos of where I've put all the stickers. And it wasn't completely random which pieces I decided to put. Uh, the pieces with stickers where I decided to put them. So I'm going to add photos in the instruction manual of which pieces have the stickers um, to give people building an idea of where they should go to really reproduce what I've done here with the original bucket wheel excavator parts. So I'm on step 923 and I found my first minor, very minor typo in my instruction manual. I have the model, you know, this way, and I've made sort of a small call out for, for this little set of pieces, and it needs to be installed the correct way, this way in the model, but the call out actually has it the other way around. So I'm just gonna quickly go into the steps editor and catch that and change that and we'll be good to go. One slightly annoying thing is when I take out these small submodels that I've made to uh, make the instructions a little bit more concise is that the pins don't end up where I want them to be so I'm having to pull out the submodel, take out some pins and put the pins back into what's left to be taken apart. And I'm doing this just to make sure, you know, I've captured every step properly you never know if a pin is in the wrong spot and it might get in the way of some other step. Um, just to be super clear. Now I figured I might have a problem with this uh, the dump truck because it's, I don't know, it's just pretty tightly built. Um, and right now I'm trying to figure out a way if I can actually take the the, the hopper part out, out based on the steps that I've made here and more importantly um, I'm, I'm not allowed to you know maybe you try to force a piece or, or bend a piece but it doesn't look like there's a good way to do this so I might have to adjust the order of steps so I just had my first moment where I had to edit the digital um, the digital design and I just wanted to flip one of the blue pins to change where that stopped notch is uh, so that it's easier to build. disassembled the side dumping dump truck to this point and I have noticed a piece that I did not model so this is the first missing piece which is pretty good considering this is all that's left of the guy and it's these little uh, little pins and that that's just an oversight from not seeing it um, they weren't hidden they, they may have been, you know, from the side, they're hidden behind the wheel, but from the bottom, I should have been able to see it and, and throw it in there. But honestly, pretty pleased. All right, the side dumping dump truck is completely apart. Here are all the pieces. It looks pretty cool, all separated. Um, it's kind of funny, This the tunnel boring machine was on a shelf for a while and it was near the kitchen so the pieces got a little bit oily. Um, so 
so I may consider giving them all a clean before I reassemble it. But um, yeah, pretty pleased. Uh, only those two missing pins, that should have been obvious, but otherwise instructions weren't pr pretty well. Disassembly went well. Um, looking forward to get getting the rest of it into pieces. All right, I'm ready to start taking apart the main part of the machine now. The first step is separating the motor unit from the cutter head and the conveyor belt. I've actually already done this before when I digitized the, the design, uh, so it shouldn't be too difficult, but well, let's get cracking. And now the motor unit and cutter head will be able to come right apart. The motor unit sliding all the way off. So this is where the motor is, the gearbox, and all the power to the cutter head is transferred through this axle right here. So yeah, kind of cool. And I think that's the next part. That will be the next part to dis disassemble. And this is the cutter head and conveyor belt all in one giant piece. And they're all linked and all the power goes through this little worm gear. And it turns everything. Anyway, I think it's pretty cool. just finished completely taking apart, deconstructing the motor unit of the TBM. That took a lot longer than I thought. There are a lot of small errors here and there, a surprising number of missed pieces, so I'll have to go back and change that. I'm now at step 327 of my original 954-ish, um, and all that's left is the cutter head. So this is all that remains of the TBM before I fine tune the model a bit, fine tune the instructions more importantly, and then I can get it out into the wild. that held the conveyor belt left to disassemble. That's step number 161 of the first draft of these instructions. I've got a new box here, because uh, I don't think I'll be able to organize and fit the pieces in what I have left. But yeah, should be fun. And this, hopefully, should be fairly straightforward, because I think it's well mapped to what I've done digitally.
first step of the TVM. And the final pieces to take apart. And we're done. Whew. So I have a lot of work to do to fine tune the instructions, update it with all the fixes I've, I've listed and recorded while I was disassembling it. Um, before I do that, I might sort these pieces a bit more, but I think we're in really good shape and I can't wait to get it reassembled. So yeah. Next step, instructions.